this video tutorial I will cover how to define a custom component name. Here I have defined a class employee service and I have applied at component annotation. So this class is an auto scan component and for this component I have defined custom name as EMPSCR. So using this name we can get employee service object from Spring container. And uh, suppose uh, if you are not specifying the custom name for uh, this component, then uh, Spring will uh, lowercase the first letter of the component. And uh, using uh, this name, we can retrieve uh, employee service object from Spring container. Employee service classes uh, dependent object uh, employee DAO. And here I have applied at auto void annotation for employee DAO. So Spring Container will create employee DAO object and inject into employee service. And it has add employee method. And here I have overridden to string method. Here I have defined the class employee DAO and applied at component annotation. So this class is an auto scan component. It has add employee method. This is a spring configuration file. Spring container read this spring configuration file and it scan this package. If spring container find any class annotated with add component annotation, then it creates object for that class and register it in the spring container. Here I have defined the class app. Here I have created application context object by reading a spring configuration file using getbean method of application context object getting employee service object from spring container. Here I am using a custom name for that component. And once I get the employee service object, I am calling add employee method. Here you can see the output.